Hi everybody, this is Matt. Well, thanks for watching. We're going to take a look at trigger control. Both firearms that I'm going to show you tonight have already been safety checked. The only thing is, in the chamber is a laser light laser indicator, which sends out a brief laser beam when it's activated. So let's talk about trigger control, because that's one of the big things when it comes to handgun accuracy whether you're on the range or if you are in a defensive situation. And a lot of folks get a little bit too hung up on their triggers because they might get rid of a handgun because they're like, ah, oh, man, I hate that trigger. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Well, how can a trigger cause you problems? Well, one thing is it can be rough, it can be gritty. Number two, it can be way too heavy. If I have a polymer pistol, uh, say like this Glock, which weighs roughly around 27 ounces and my trigger is nine pounds trying to exert nine pounds of pressure on a handgun this light yeah you're going to have an issue with it no question about it i personally prefer triggers more in the four to six pound range and that's just personal preference it's what works for me it might not be what works for you i've seen some triggers as light as two pounds uh, one time I saw a trigger that was 1.8 pounds, which you barely touch it and the gun goes bang. But like I was saying, a lot of times people will get rid of a handgun just because of the trigger. A lot of times we blame the gun rather than the person who is operating it. It's just a matter of getting used to it. Now, the trigger on a 1911 is legendary for how smooth it is, but people still have problems with it. And they have issues because they tend to flinch. Flinch is a natural response to the gun going bang. How can you overcome that? Well, one recommendation that I have is simply, you have a hold of the weapon, like this, place finger on trigger, you know, you don't have much slack right here, and just simply slowly apply pressure just like one two it went straight didn't it you didn't see any bobble any wobble if you give yourself say like a five count and you're consistently increasing the pressure where you're just letting it surprise you you come up you're looking at that front side and then but otherwise, if you worry about it too much, what can happen is you go, uh, and guess where the round went? It went into the dirt. But instead, just simply concentrate on your front sight, begin that squeeze all the way back, and it works. It doesn't matter if it's a 1911 or if it is a Glock same results it's just a matter of simply going one two slow increase the pressure once you've committed yourself and that's all it takes so you engage one two look at that front sight and that's the key the key is front sight focus because where that front sight is pointed is where that round is going to go and the hardest thing in marksmanship in my opinion is not just trigger control but keeping this front sight in your field of vision because what can often happen when you're shooting is in a literally milliseconds when you know that that gun is going to go bang you go from front sight focus and your eye automatically will transition to that target. And right then and there is when things can go bad, meaning that you can miss. It just happens. It's just the way that it is. So you have to train yourself to look at that front sight. Do not take your eyes off of that front sight whatsoever. Keep your eyes open and just let the gun go bang. That 
right there will improve your shooting. Keep your eyes open and keep focused on that front sight. Last week, as an example, I went to the range and I had my uh, 22 pistol with me and I put a paper target all the way down at this one particular range, which was about 35 yards. And all I did was I put 40 rounds down range on that target. I never looked at the target until I was done. And that's another thing that happens. A lot of times what you'll see people do is they'll get on the range, they'll come up, they'll sit there, they'll go, uh-huh, where did I get that? Sound familiar? Instead, come up, look, front sight focus, front sight focus, don't change that because the target will tell the tale. After you are done with emptying your magazine or firing three rounds or five rounds, then look at the target. But instead, my recommendation is keep front sight focus and then just consistent pull, consistent pressure, don't think about it, just let it happen and let it happen naturally and that will improve your shooting. So there you have it. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope this helps and until next time, everybody be safe out there and have a good one.